It's got itself a first plastic and metal only product going. I'm really interested to see how this is going to be going, especially for like plastic production and everything as well. Let's just see uh, what these guys are going to be doing. This operator is already frantically waiting for finally being able to smelt some plastic and inhale these good fumes. Alright guys, hello and welcome back to another episode on Little Big Workshop with me, Spacefish. And uh, well, welcome back to a little bit more of a chill one now that we finally have 27k in the bank. Isn't that a great feeling? I do think we are probably going to splurge a bit on of that uh, on some break room equipment right away. So probably not going to stay that well for too long but overall I mean we, we've got like our catapults halfway done already which is great as well and we've got the match which is an important factor as we've come to know in these last bajillion episodes where I always did it wrong so um definitely a good thing to have but I think before I actually think about other projects which I do want to do I think I do now want to add another project which will be somewhat plastic focused would be a great idea. So that's what I do want to do soon, TM. But before we actually turn towards that, I want to actually get a break room going because I think if we are now branching out across more products and, you know, having different productions going with like even plastic working on top now and then all the metal working equipment we have, all the woodworking stuff we have and this stuff and we're eventually going to get some painting booths and maybe even exp uh, expand the assembly tables out like it's a lot of work and I think it's going to be a bit too much work for only 10 workers. I'm not sure at which point we will need more storage workers but I do definitely believe we will need more of uh, these operators that we have so far so we're definitely going to stock up on those and as you guys can uh, remember probably I've already like always had a uh, very much well not I won't really want to call a love-hate relationship it's really just more of a total hate relationship with the rake room points because my workers just keep passing out left and right so I do want to work on that here and I am going to make a new break room. Thus, we are going to get a coffee maker, we are going to get a vending machine and uh, I am also going to work on some good breakpoint regeneration with a bank right here and probably one little thing on top for the time being. I think that is going to be it then for now but we're definitely going to get more in the future so let's do it like that for a start 5k for a decent break room actually let me can i yes that's actually how i can move things that i've already placed i finally found out about it god that took me an absolute ages and absolute ages that took me absolute ages to find out then what we can also do and what i wanted to do that's why i just moved this coffee machine about and i mean Maybe we can just now take care of proper placement. Maybe I should just place it against this wall instead. I think that's a good idea. Then we can just leave a bit more space right here for people to walk through so they're not being slowed down too much. And then I would like to have a door right here, which does mean that we will have to move this somewhere else, which does in turn also mean that I need to make some more space somewhere. So... Let's order this for the time being. Let's make that happen. And then we can see about this now. How big is this? We would be able to fit that in right there. Now, the only thing I would then need to take care of is actually moving the saw somewhere and moving the plant somewhere. Or, well, even getting rid of the plant optimally by optimizing our decorations in here, which I think we should do. Now, the thing I'm actually also kind of worried about is that we maybe don't quite have enough expansion space with this current setup for, like, if we need more workbenches. So, what I do kind of want to do is I want to move this up here for the time being. Then I want to lower the size of this zone. Just like that, maybe. That should still be plenty. Actually, we can probably even make it one small. I mean, look at this, right? Like, that zone was just very, very large. Especially for what I feel in metal working right now is an environment where we don't even need 
that much input space. I don't feel we actually need that much. So now we have all these plants here and everything. So let's find out what we get from them and let's actually, you know, get some really, really good decorations like a candy dispenser, like an arcade machine. Maybe a lounge table, I don't know, lounge table seems to use a lot of space, but you know, let's just up the kind of decorations we have by a lot. And hopefully that way save a lot of space for ourselves. So I would love to sell this dwarf palm and I would love to sell the pot of the plant. That gets me minus 20. Then I could sell the cactus, but it's a very small cactus. So I'm actually not too sure how big is this thing. Would that fit in there? It does seem like that would fit in there. So let's sell this. That gets us to minus 30. Now this candy dispenser, was it plus 60? Or was it plus 50? It's plus 50. So we could sell even another thing. Oh, this is only plus 20. Let's sell that. And then I'm going to throw a candy dispenser in the corner here. And then we can move this machine to over there, that machine to over there. Then we can make a doorway right there and we'll have some expansion space for more machines in the future, which I think is great. And like, like the flower pot is pretty good good the flower box rather the, the standing fan we can probably eventually upgrade and this this water dispenser we'll just eventually see about but i think for the time being that's a good thing we will be down 50 and up 50 again which is also perfect and uh well if, if we ever need more mood i think we can probably for example just tear this thing down and put like an arcade there or something like that maybe put an arcade there we'll we'll see about that for the time being though let's let's make that happen Let's uh, have everybody tear these things down, hopefully, quickly. Uh, we don't have much of any metal working going on, I don't think, so that should be good. Now people would also need to pick it up, and uh, people are not able to tear this one thing down, apparently, because they're not able to access it. Is that the issue? Sell that, please? Yes? Could we? Thank you. Okay, perfect. So, with that done. I will get a candid dispenser into the corner right there. I will be moving this abrasive saw. Wait, actually, is that... Uh oh Okay, so that doesn't actually work, because in this corner... Okay. Um, the issue being in this corner, like, we, we've got the doorway in the way, so, like, it doesn't... If you can see right here, it doesn't... Well, can't actually show you, I guess. Well, I can. But, like, this doesn't reach all the way out, right? So I wouldn't be able to have people work on that machine so that the game doesn't let me do that. So I need to actually keep the abrasive saw right there. I could, for the time being, I think, move the water cool cooler into this corner instead? Maybe not? Maybe the fan? Okay, the fan does seem to work. Okay, how do I turn it now? No, that's my camera. This is the fan. Okay. So, let's move the fan into that corner then. That will give us a bit more storage space right here. Which is hopefully going to help a little bit. Let's see about that. But then we will just move this press over. Which which press button are we going to take? Let's just take that one. I think that's the closer one to the door. So, like, less space where they're moving slowly. So, I think that's good. Okay, uh, did not order the candy dispenser yet. That's a bit of an issue. Should probably take care of that. And with that said, we do now have space to make a door happen right here. So, let's do just that. Order that. That will be great. People can access the break rooms from everywhere now. And look at these break points. Isn't that great? We are, we are going to definitely lower those in a second though. Because I am going to recruit two new people for now. And we're probably going to expand that out by a good bunch soon. Now, looking at this stuff, we've got three people doing woodworking, only one doing metalworking. And we've got a few people that I can specialize. So, given that I have just hired two new people, let's specialize two, new, uh, two people as well, shall we? I do want to make... I actually would like to have a plastic specialist, too. Should we actually get another one? I think we're going to get a third one. Let's make one of these guys wood specialist. Let's make one of them a plastic specialist and one a metal specialist, which does mean we'll have our first plastic specialist, so I better use that. Maybe that's a bad idea given how little plastic work I do, I have to say. But well, now the decision has been made, I can't roll it back. So, 
That's that. That's the plan. We have got three new workers that are hopefully going to help a lot getting everything taken care of. And we're now getting this doorway in here too. Look at that. New break room, new doorway, new alignment, less unnecessary decorations, more space. Uh, yeah, pretty happy with that and we're getting along with the catwalks nicely. That said, let's get another project going. So, we have the stand-up bicycle here. Which we have a deadline of five days on, so I'm kind of a bit worried about it, but not, like, incredibly hard. I mean, we've got three metalworking specialists now, right? So that's what I'm kind of hoping will help us out. Um, we would definitely want to batch it. Never forget about that. And we would get a lot of payment for very little... Ma well, no, material cost is going to rise, isn't it? When we actually up the amount of stuff we put in here. So, um, let's, let's get ourselves towards the target, shall we? Oh, no. We can't actually do it. Do you guys know why? We need suing. We don't have suing yet. Okay. So as I don't really want to incredibly overspend on my investments right now, as you guys can see, I already like lost 10k since the start of the episode. Let's maybe not do that just yet. We'll definitely need suing at one point, and I think we'll maybe placing it over here, or could potentially like have a small suing room over here. I mean, let, let's see about it, right? I mean, we do have space over here with pro plastic production is as well in case that's um, not needing any expansion. So we do definitely have some options, but I think for the time being, let's do something else then. So we've got the wide drawer. Don't want to quite do that just yet though, because we do have lots still going on in the woodworking department. So I think that's something for a later day. So maybe we can do something medium that requires plastic. A kitchen multi-tool. Interesting. Wait, what's that? I would, I would love that product to be a bit bigger. Maybe we can have a more detailed look at it when we're making it. Let's see what we need for that. We need metal, most definitely. Do we need plastics? Oh, we do need plastics. I think this is a good one to make. We only need metal and plastics. No more woodworking. Um, how's the market doing? I, I never checked on that. It's not really doing great, is it? Well, maybe we can just make a few, unless I can find something better. The granny phone is kind of good as well, but I do want to, I just want to try something where we need plastic production. All right, guys, so let's just do that, even though it's probably not the most optimal choice, I would really like to try that. Now, targets. The target for style is met one way or another, so we only really want to maximize strength without having to up the material costs, so... Uh, Whoa! Oh, arm assembly. Oh, that's actually a lot of work, though. All right, so arm assembly. We will have this. We will be maxing the strength out over here as well, and that seems to be everything we can do right there. Okay, so it does look as though for everything of like every single input of these, we only need one. Or why is there no numbers on this? I'm actually kind of confused by that. Maybe we just don't see it yet because we've never done it before? Is that a potential option? I mean, let's see, right? I'm going to do the cheapest mats and everything, and then I'm just going to compare them. But I think that it shouldn't make a difference, right? So if I would... Oh, whoa. Oh, wait, I can actually change the color here. That's actually pretty cool. See, I could make it, like, blue or something doing that. It's like the same kind of plastic, but it changes the color, which I think is great. I mean, I would love to keep this in some red, actually, um, just to stay in like some kind of KitchenAid vibe, if you guys uh, get what I mean. But still, that's pretty cool. I love the ability to actually be changing colors for products there in the future. I think that's pretty cool. And then we've got these bio pellets, apparently, which don't give us any strength, so that's not an option. Actually, we're, we're spot on target. Why am I even thinking about changing mats? Interesting. I thought we were below target, but apparently we're good. So, let's link everything up then, shall we? We will be linking these, we'll be... Oh. No, I've, I've got it. I've got one, I've got one. I've got a billboard. It's, it's all good, it's all fine. I actually I actually kind of missed that there for a second. I was kind of already panicking like, no, what did I do? But we're all good. I, I've set us up correctly, so let's uh, add all this stuff on here. What I'm actually thinking, right, is if we get into more metalworking, will we eventually need some better tools than these, like, basic smelting furnaces? I think we probably will. 
I'm not aware of one like of an actual improvement just yet, but I'm sure there will be some coming in the future, and I do think I will definitely want to get those once that's an option. Maybe I will need to get a third one for the time being. Let's just see how it works out for now, shall we? And then, then we can see about that. I mean, for the time being, right, you got to think, we've only got really got this smelting thing, and we've got this little press. So with three specialists, we should be covered in every way. I mean... It is kind of an issue now, of course, some of them are eventually going to do breaks, but we've also got some non-specialized workers that may help out there. So let's think about that. Micro components, by the way, very interesting thing. I, I've got no clue. Uh, I guess that's like some circuit boards or whatever that we just can't make ourselves, which is cool, which is good. We're just uh, ordering those over from the good company episodes. <laughs> I love that idea. Well, anyways, let me get a few of these going. I think I want to make like, maybe like 15. I mean, that's a profit of 7.7k. Let's try and hit a profit of 10k. I think that's good. Costs us about 4.5k in salaries, which I think is pretty decent as well. Yeah, everything set up, everything linked. We're all good. Color is set as well, looking pretty nice, I think. If you're asking me, I hope you guys like the design here as well. Let's execute it. And, uh,. Let's get ourselves a first plastic and metal only product going. I'm really interested to see how this is going to be going, especially for like plastic production and everything as well. Let's just see uh, what these guys are going to be doing. This operator is already frantically waiting for finally being able to smelt some plastic and inhale these good fumes that he's going to get from it. I mean, like, he's not going to do that right. He's got a mask, work safety and all. He wouldn't totally never do that. <laughs> But yeah, okay, cool. Um, oh, you're you're unhappy about this. Wait, we actually need decorations in this room. Oh, I totally forgot. I never saw that I was missing decorations in that room. So we're at minus 26. I'm just going to overextend this a bit, I think, and just do a candy dispenser. Because honestly, it uses very, very little space for what it is, I have to say. So I think a candy dispenser is always a good choice, just as a water dispenser was before. So let's do that. Let's order that real quick. Hopefully make people very happy with that very soon. And uh, well, for the time being, doesn't look like they're going to be very happy anytime soon because we are stacking up plastic pellets left and right. And uh, looks like there's also some metal stuff in here now. No, not, well, soon, content, this is what they're linked to, what is this, oh, is this that uh, belong to the water dispenser, I guess, right, yeah, okay, I thought that was a metal -y thing, also, looking at this, this is actually super inefficient too, why do I have two water dispensers in here, that doesn't even work very well, I will have to fix that soon, I think, maybe I can even get rid of both water dispensers and just place an arcade or something, that'll probably be an option. I mean, looking at this, wait, this is like 15, 40, that's 70 mood. How much does an arcade give me? Oh, it's only 60. Huh, bummer. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure we can think of something there. Maybe even just get rid of the flower box and one of these and just place an arcade. That would probably be a good idea. We would get five more mood in here. And we were probably sp uh, save some space, so probably something we want to do. Before the time being, let me uh, fast forward this a bit as they are unloading stuff. And these are the micro components. Interesting, I see. Looks a little more like screws or something. I mean, we can order those from good company any day as well, so uh, no worries there. But here comes the second uh, truck then, finally getting the candy dispenser in for us. And fixing our little mood issue that we had over there. And look at that, wait, I want to actually see that. So... He's getting some plastic pellets, putting them in there, and just squeezing the heck out. <laughs> Look at that. He's just clinging on for dear life, just squeezing the heck out of it. And then he gets a part out of it. And he likes it. That's, that's always good. You know, always make sure to do that like button down below. <laughs> that plug, though. Okay. Something is fizzing away. Let me... Yes, this is. Let me just enter the maintenance screen generally. Maybe take care of some basic maintenance on the things that we've already used a bunch. Just to be there ahead of time, you know, and have everything taken care of somewhat. And just repair scheduled wherever we may end up needing them, such as here, for example. Like, slightly at the very least. So, good. That's taken care of. That helps a lot. That really does help a lot. I uh, don't know why I haven't found that overview thing uh 
earlier, to be honest, because it's uh, really great. But one way or another, glad to have it. Now, uh, it looks like they just keep on gluing, no matter if I told them to repair or not, so that's, uh, that's always a worrying thing to see. But it does look like he's now taking care of that, which is great. And we're still at seven break points, which is also very great to see. You know, still still doing some words good for breakpoint regeneration, not having all workers getting knocked out, which is awesome. I do think that we should eventually actually stock up on the inventory of this break room, even if it's like overall maybe not necessary. I think it would be great to have more regeneration in this room because as, as you can see like these points are always empty while these are always full which I think has to do with the fact that right now with woodworking and probably also metalworking most of the workers actually work closer to this break room so they prefer this one over the other because that shortens the time that they spend on break which does make a lot of sense and I think is a great thing so I should probably Try not to run out of space. Um, we are out of space, so so let me just already sell eight catapults for 25k. That's a lot of money. God, we're making so much money at the moment. But yeah, so I think that makes a lot of sense to actually upgrade on that. And you know, I'm actually very grateful that it works that way. And they are actually going to try and save some time like that. But let's get all these catapults out of the way for the time being. At least those that are finished so far. And uh, then that guy's going to go off and we're at 36k. Look at that, guys. The money is starting to roll in like mad. It's absolutely crazy. And I absolutely love it. Let's uh, push it all right back into the break room with like the best things that we can get. Like a gaming... Actually, gaming console does take a lot of space, I have to say, compared to the other things, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe actually not that much. But like a television doesn't take... Oh no, a television actually takes a lot of space. Well, interesting. One way or another. Let's, uh, let's get some stuff. Let's get some... Okay, I mean, this still fits in over here and people can still move around, so that's good. I'm going to get that break room all the way amped up as good as I can with the space that I have available, which honestly is... Oh, wait a second. Rats! There's actually not that much space to work with. God. Okay, let's get this to stand up place. It isn't that easy, maybe, right? They still have to be moving around for me to catch them and everything, you know? How do I catch them? Oh, right. Wait, like that. Oh, I can get a cannon? Wait, I catch them with a cannon? Do I actually shoot them or something? That's pretty mad. Um, Let's order this. You know, get some inventory for this break room. Maybe I'll actually have to expand it out. Well, it's like, it's honestly not too much space to work with. I'm getting there, but, you know. Could probably still do better. Okay, assemble, please. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. Let's let's wait for somebody to stand still here. Nuked. Nuked. <laughs> I'm shooting rats with cannons. What is this game, guys? What is this game even? Nuked. 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 Yeah, I'm kind of getting the hang of it, even when they are running, I kind of know when to shoot them. Except for when they do weird patterns, I guess. Okay, are you going to come back eventually, buddy, or are you just going to... Oh, he just died on his own. I mean, that, that works. That is totally fine. Um, A lot of money still flowing in. I like, so on top money even due to that right there. So that's great. The catapults are starting to get finished now. I'm going to get stuff back on two times speed. And I think I will now work on actually expanding this break room outwards. So maybe... No, I, I don't know. I'm just going to put... I'm just going to move these up against the wall. And uh, we are going to go to remodel. And I am going to... Expand this room outwards like that. Actually, probably a bit more. Then I am going to, like, bulldoze the walls that I don't want. Just like that. And that should give us a bit more space to work with. Let's do that. I think that way we can hopefully max out our break room. And with the break room then being maxed out, that will hopefully help us a lot with getting our workers back into action even quicker than before. So I think that would be great. 
Now, catapults are actually getting done slowly but surely, so I think I want to take that Swakia contract next, to be honest. Um, maybe make it full woodworking, because, you know, we do have some stuff going on over here in metalworking already, so I think that would make a good bunch of sense. That said, it doesn't look like there's too many people working there, which I'm kind of wondering about, like, where are all my metalworking specialists at? I can only see one right there. There's another one right there, and he's totally not metalworking. He's moving things around. No, he's assembling. What? I thought they only could do the one thing they were trained for. I'm so confused right now. Is it because we don't have enough logistics workers that they just... I think they just help out because we don't have enough logistics workers. Let's get another two. A lot of money to spend right there, but I think that should hopefully help out a bit and, you know, free my operators for actual operator stuff. That does sound like it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So, surprise in a box. That's a very fun product, isn't it? I, I like that one. Um, one way or another, though, why drawer, I think, is going to be the next thing on the list now. But first things first, let's get these catapults done real quick, shall we? actually sell the last few of them and, you know, make even more money. And also, this thing seems to be done. So that's actually great. Let me move this thing first, I suppose. Just actually wait, no. No! Ah. I don't want to actually move it all the way to the outside, but like actually next to the door, so they the workers don't actually have to move that far just for that little bit. But, uh, well, I, I guess I can always move it again, and uh, I will have to move it a third time, because now there's apparently still space in between the two. So, do that, then I will go to the break room, and I will get the last few decorations that we can get to actually max out our regeneration points. So, foosball table goes right here, maybe, you know. Uh, I think I've got some excess space, so I'm not going to cram everything in that crazy Lee and... Uh, Looks like it's it. Okay, all the items in there then. Maybe a bit excessive of an expansion, but I think that is totally fine. And with that said, uh, once these things get unloaded, the last catapult should hopefully be done as well very soon. And did we just finish a final product right there? No, not just yet, it doesn't seem. So no look at the kitchen multi-tool yet, but catapults are done. Let's deliver them to the open market. And uh, let's level up, which is absolutely great. That gives us a bunch more research and development points. And in a second, hopefully, also a bunch more money just like that. Over 50k. And I think that's actually the first time for this whole series. But we're over 50k, isn't it? So that's absolutely awesome. But guys, as always, I think this is it for the time being. So I do hope that you guys did enjoy this episode. And if you did, as always, please make sure to hit that like button down below. That always very much helps out the channel. And if you're new around here and enjoy this episode and would like to see around for more of this content, please also consider hitting that subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon right next to it. And with that said, guys, as always, I do hope that you guys enjoy this episode that I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope I'll see you soon. Ciao.